Because How's that? Oh, so the, so the phone is on. No, now I'm going to turn it on. <laughs> You're such a liar. I'm not a liar, you, man. I, oh, you are a liar. Oh, there we go. Now we shorten it up. And I got a tripod you can use for your Q&A. Oh, my gosh. I didn't yeah. even bring my so, tripod thing. Do you so, want to so. sit outside? or do you? Because you can sit inside and we can, can go out because it's nice and cool in here. Is so it, do you, what, it's whatever you want to do. What do you want to do, Johnny Paul? <laughs> well, you know, I want to stay inside. Dixie's like, what are we doing? <laughs> Here's my friend. Oh my gosh, that is your sweet little friend. What's up, bud? <laughs> the which one? Uh, Dixie. That's Diesel. Diesel. And then this and is Dixie. Dixie. Yeah, Aww. the pup's Dixie. Aww. Brady used to. Uh, they used to have a dog named Dixie. Look at him or her, right? It's a her. Yeah. What's up, bud? No. <laughs> she came from Kentucky too. Really? Well, I had to give her a southern name. Oh, of course. <laughs> so pretty. No. Well, let's do the Q and A. You want to do the Q and A? Yeah. Well, do you want to start? Let's start. I wish we'd have filmed it earlier. And oh, the stuff. That, yeah. Just it's just cool because people just don't get to see, you know, what we're doing, what we yeah. all we get What's into. Going on. And yeah, it's neat. Well, so. why don't we do this? Why don't we start outside? Well, of course, number one, let's go ahead and introduce. This is Karen and Dave right here. Uh, <laughs> you all have met the Cardinals before. We are in their what size again? Ten by thirty. 10 by 30 and this will eventually be going to the mountain they're in the forest right now but they're going to go to the mountain they can hear they can hear like here okay yeah they can hear us so yeah they're good inside here all right but it's eventually it's going to go to the mountain but we're going to go outside and we're going to show you uh the outside of it and then come in here and stay cool with our little cocktail <laughs> that they made us look at this spread randy look here the cheese and stuff oh yeah uh-huh they got a nice little spread going on so we're enjoying the cocktail randy got a Liquid death. <laughs> Liquid death. Liquid <laughs> death. Look at it. I'm just saying. But let's see, where does it show? It's at the bottom. There. Mountain water. Yeah. Kills your thirst. Oh, murder. Murders your thirst. Murders your murders thirst. Murders your thirst. <laughs> and it's just water. That's and it's just is it just water? It's, it's just water. Own spring water. No, it ain't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well let me try it. No bubbles. What well, is just water? That one's better. <laughs> <laughs> this is well it's half gone so that ought to be some kind of indication and i just told them for anybody that knows me i don't drink no a until ever. like so three episodes ago <laughs> 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 everybody's gonna see my, my alcoholism when it started <laughs> keep a journey of it <laughs> a journal <laughs> I, I called it a slush <laughs> you called me a slush yeah <laughs> And it's a lush. It's a, it's a lush and, or a slosh or a, sl a slosh. Is it slosh? I called it a slosh. No, you're slosh. Yeah. We gotta learn the lingo. I don't even know how to drink. Oh my god. All right. We're what gonna, do you think, we're bud? We're gonna go outside and show the outside of the house. Look, they're pretty. Dark. Here's Dixie or no, Diesel. Diesel. This Diesel. Diesel. Uh -huh. Dixie. Dixie. Yeah. Double D. Double D. That's right. uh, Randy. It's a family show. For <laughs> God's sake. What's wrong with double D? Yeah, 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 yeah. Bottoms up, everybody. I have my liquid death. Isn't I mean, it cool? This is mountain spring water and it says liquid death. Murders your thirst. I can't believe I can't believe it's just water. What did he say this was? Ten by thirty. That ten by thirty. Ten by thirty. Mm -hmm. This has got several dormers. It's got four dormers on this house. Isn't that not beautiful? The flat log siding, metal roof. And here we put the, the corrugated metal on the dormers. And I thought that was a good Kind of look, what do you call it? A good touch. Beautiful. Yeah, mm. that we wanted to do on that. Oh wow! The yeah. stain, the red, all this looks mm -hmm. so good. Let me see this side of it. See if you can see some of it. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, that's and we're in the forest community <clears throat> here in Tiny Town, USA. Oh, it's got three dormers. I'm sorry. Yep. Wow! Don't it look beautiful? Yeah, that's cool. So we're gonna do our Q and A with you guys. <clears throat> We were inside, and hopefully we'll, Amanda will edit this, and they were in there carrying on. And you guys never get to see behind the scenes, so I try to sneak the camera on all the time so Amanda doesn't see, but it's hard to hold it on like that. <laughs> so it is, I just want to show Jack Pine right here. Look how pretty it is up through there. And then back through here. It mm -hmm. just is gorgeous. It's really beautiful. Yeah. Really nice. Okay. I love it here. Yep. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so we, this house, I just want to remind that this house will be going to the mountain. Yes. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> There's several in here, I think, going to the mountain. Yeah. But that, it's just, 
when you put those dormers on there yeah. <clears throat> and you can tell when you put the corrugated metal the live edge around the trim the red the corrugated the log siding all that different textures and colors and all that just builds yeah. a home doesn't it it, it looks, looks neat. so beautiful all right so we got to set up yeah let's set, we're going to set up and we'll be right back all right I forgot I had my microphone thing in it. <laughs> we'll do that. It's like a, it's like a drug deal. <laughs> On the slide. Exactly. <laughs> Terrible. No. With sugar. There went my phone. I didn't have it zipped. There you go. Tragically. Nope. Yep. Yeah. It's awesome. On. Is that it? Yep. That's okay. it. All right. <clears throat> oh, let me turn mine on. Ladies before gentlemen. You? Yes, ma'am. Oh. Whoa! You're already tipsy. I just about bought the farm. <laughs> bought the tiny house. Oh gosh, just about bought the tiny house. Oh. Okay, so I'll put mine right there. Yep. Get my little drink. Oh yeah, let's get the questions. Oh, oh. oh gosh. Now I've I lost the, the I microphone. Oh my god. So today's what? That dog trying to get to you. Oh yeah, That's she a loves cute him. Cute little dog. Oh my God, isn't she pretty? You need to hang on to that. Mm -hmm. All right, Wednesday. What, what is today? The twenty. Um. No. Well, I, would, uh, I don't have my phone. I don't have any. I don't even know what day it is. I wasn't prepared to talk about that. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that. God. Okay. It says oh, it says it. The twenty fifth. Alyssa put it on there. Okay. okay. So. Well, I got to tell what day, what one it is. Uh, well, I guess when he said welcome. You say whatever you want. There you go. Welcome to Wednesday Q and uh, we weekly Wednesday Q and A. This is episode nine. This is number nine already. Oh, cool. Yeah, episode nine. <clears throat> so much to talk about. So much to tell you guys about. Um, what's going on? A little bit. Mm -hmm. Read the questions and comments and all that. Yeah. All these, right? Yeah. And we've got several pages. I think there's probably a dozen on each page, and I've got five, six pages here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll try to. I like to get through these as quick as we can so everybody yeah. gets to hear their question and their comment. Um, but before we begin, I know back in January when we sold the Incrediboxes, I had promised that we would start by May, was it 21st? May 20th. Uh, yeah, I believe it was 21st. 21st. Yeah, I believe it was 21st. I'd have 20, 21, 25 built. 25 done. <clears throat> of course, when we started building our building, our building fell down. Yeah, it was sure blown is. down, destroyed. Mm -hmm. We had to redo it. Yeah. Put us back almost two months. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. And even though we're two months, we're in May right now, May 25th. Mm -hmm. Right. And we are, we have the floors and ready to potentially, we have 17. We have 17. <clears throat> yeah. So by the end of next week, we know before the end of next week, I think we'll have 25. Yeah. I, so I'm just yes. a week and a half behind. A week and a half, two weeks behind is all you're behind. After, after oh. all the stuff that's gone through, all of that, I didn't know that it was going to take that much work yeah. to form assembly line, to train the guys, to get everything going. And today we started with the high school boys that mm -hmm. came in. There's five of them came yeah. in. I haven't been able to work with them. We went through our safety program. Right. They come out there to work and actually the guys that are working inside came to get me mm -hmm. and they said hey we want to tell you that your high school boys are killing it really yeah they said they really like them they work and they're busting it you know everybody's excited the first day yeah. and this is their first that's day that's right so we'll see you know after three or four weeks goes in but mm -hmm. we're excited about them they've been here for they're going to be eight weeks with us till school weeks. starts <clears throat> and we're okay. thinking that if, if they really like it and if they're performing well for us right that we will accommodate their evening schedule oh okay. so when they when they go to school they can come to us okay. work about three hours before the men go home mm -hmm. and then they can work into the evening with supervision yeah and do things that they've learned to do these eight weeks that right. they're with us so i'm excited about that they're you know and listen they're they're very what we're finding out is that the high school kids they're very capable they're very capable they're yeah. very uh they're they listen well they're well behaved and stuff yes. like that they want to learn they seem they i want to learn i was really surprised you know we've mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's been a while since i've been into teaching and, and <clears throat> been around a lot of kids and stuff and i right. hate that because i like i like hanging out i used to coach and stuff my boys mm -hmm. but <clears throat> you hear so many things oh the kids won't work nowadays and the generations mm -hmm. aren't like we wish to be and old all schoolers and all that I Stop hate negative. I don't like ever being that way negative I because know. I know when I was a kid, yeah. I swear, 
I never had a job. I had nothing. My dad says, don't ever go to work until you start. When you start, you'll never stop. Yeah, that's true. And he told me, don't get a job until you're 18. That's right. And I said, Dad, all my buddies are working. He said, don't do it, son. I know. So I, I just, you know, I tried to enjoy my high school years. Mm -hmm. I think I got a pretty good, decent work ethic. Oh, so I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have to work. At 15, 16, 17, 18. Uh -uh. No. To have a work ethic. No. You know, now I'm not saying that's how everybody is. Right. I didn't. And um, so, well, anyway. I, I didn't let my kids either because I knew that once I wanted them to be kids. Yeah. Just be a kid, you yep. know. Now, some kids don't want to, you know. Some, they want to go work. They want to make their own money. They're ready. <clears throat> some kids are ready. My kids, they were re ready to stay home and just then they got working and they've worked I think, ever since. I think I was an old soul or something like yeah. that because I remember. Watching my dad, and he told me so many stories about his life and about everything, and you know about money and all that, and yeah. not having money and all this. And I just thought, I thought, you know what? It's true. I know that once I start, mm -hmm. I'll, why would I ever stop working? Life you begins don't. and you roll, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm gonna have to fend for myself, you know. And I know when I turned 18, it was never mentioned that my folks had helped me through college. No. That we'd buy a car, pay not my neither. insurance, give me gas, nothing. Same thing. Oh, I didn't ever, I've never asked him for anything. No, same thing. And I was always on my own and yeah. always done it. And, and, um, well, I my dad would, my, you know, who pitched me a bone is my brother. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He took good care of me. Yeah. He says, 20 bucks here, here's 20 bucks here, you know. Now, your brother, uh, he, he got you your first car, didn't he? Yep. Sure did. My brother did. I, yeah. He was married in, in his, uh, they had, they had a little old bitty, uh, Pinto. <laughs> I thought yeah. it was a, a bug car. Yeah, well, that no, I bought that first car. You bought car. that. But okay. I had one before that Aww. was a Pinto. Was day. it a Pinto? It was a Pinto. Yep, loved it, a little stick shift. Neighbor stuff. Sue had a Pinto forever. God. Bless her heart. Well, I, I tell you what, we got so many. We're so scattered, and I go, we you are. guys watch. But yeah. everything comes off the top of my head. I'm actually thinking about doing a podcast, all right? Mm -hmm. Just, I know you guys are thinking, oh, my God, when's he going to get time to do that, right? Yeah. So I thought about doing on a Sunday morning podcast. It's not church. It's not, I'm not a preacher. I'm not talking religion. I'm not doing any of that. But for some reason, I don't know, some people I've told a little bit about, I, my life is no different than anybody else's. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got a story. Everybody. Everybody does. It's just that we have this platform to talk about stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting, a, I'm, I've gotten cards and letters from people I don't even, even know. know. <laughs> so I was thinking maybe somebody would like to hear my life story. Sure. You know, and it's not, and the only reason I'm saying this is I think a lot of what, how I was raised and all the things that I've been through, I think people would relate. Mm -hmm. And I think people would say, yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, I think it might, because I don't watch anybody on YouTube that starts from beginning mm -hmm. and talks about their whole life that they've been through. Right. <clears throat> I got stories. I mean, I got stories. Yeah. And they're not about stories you would think, you know. Mm -hmm. They're not about crazy times. I got this and I did that. It's just life. It's just and, life. And the things that have gone on between my ears mm -hmm. and how I've gotten through a lot of things, people have had... Ten times worse life than me. Oh, I've had absolutely. a beautiful life. Yeah. I've had a I've had mm -hmm. a blessed life. I can't, you know, but we still have things, and I don't know why. I just thought, you know what? Maybe somebody would enjoy listening to that. Mm -hmm. It might help us draw more of a crowd to our company sure. and to who we are. And um, mm -hmm. I don't know, everybody. It's just something we like to do. That's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. You know. And try so, it. Out. Anyway, we might do that. I'll let you know if we do. It'll be on a Sunday morning. I don't know if I was gonna. Put it on this channel or start another channel mm -hmm. or something like that but but we'll keep you informed we'll let you know yeah mm -hmm. let you know so be something fun some fun okay. i don't know if it'll be, be it'll be everything it'll be it'll be everything it ain't gonna be fun it'll he be, said it ain't gonna be fun it'll be laughing it'll be crying it'll be night fat mad and just blah it'd be like working here oh man <laughs> it's like working here every day gosh i all would right. walk out all the time do you want to do a question sure all right <laughs> rev reverend David oh. Ham. Oh wow! Well, hello, Reverend David Ham. Wow. Hi, Randy Amanda. Would Hi. you ever build? Would you ever build an RV park so that you can be there? And will your parks be 50 plus? And will there be background checks so that there aren't any criminals in there? <laughs> I think that's what we got right here. Except for it's full of criminals. Just stop! It is not. We got great people. That's what we but got here. 
This we, is an RV park. It is, but, and it's, it's, but it's not 50 and over. We didn't do it, but they are. No, it ain't. We got a, we got no. a couple young couples here. Yeah, it ain't 50 and over. You're 50. Wow, I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> okay. But that's similar to what happened here. You need to tend your own niche. All right, second question. Well, no, you didn't finish the rest. We don't do a background check. We need to. Wow. Oh, God. There's are a you couple serious? looms in here. Yeah, us too. <laughs> hey, we, we wouldn't pass a background check. Hey, listen, he said any criminals. I tell you what, I've got criminals building our, your houses. <laughs> Bonnie and Clyde right here. Yeah, and uh, they're awesome guys. Oh, listen, there's, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you can't just go by what's on a piece But we of paper. have had background checks on people. You know what? We've done it and they don't know it. I was going to say, <laughs> they have not. Are you insane? Uh, you don't know stuff. Yeah, right. but did you do one on me? Vicky. Did you do a background check? No, you did not. Vicky Dobb and May Lee. Oh. I'm asking oh, again really? a question about the $100,000 giveaway, but no answer. What is the difference between it and the Birmingham layout? Because the giveaway is 16 foot and the Birmingham's 34. Mm -hmm. That's it. Um, well, and the giveaway house is... A mini Birmingham. When we say mini Birmingham, I'm trying to add the overhang. So let me be specific so oh. you guys know I'm answering your question, but no answer. You want one of them? No, I'm oh. good. <clears throat> it is a 16-foot house. So what I'm making it to look like a Birmingham, to give it some character or similarities, is we're adding the sweeping overhang, the corbels, the faux dormers, I mean the, the faux rafters, mm -hmm. and we're adding the cupola. Now, are you and on a 16-footer. Now, I'm going to ask you this because I went and seen it today because it's still being built. Are you going to show more progress or are you going to wait till it's no, done No, I'll show now? progress. I don't care. Okay, well, maybe we'll show that tomorrow. Yeah. Won't you? All right. That's the difference. And it's 16-foot versus the Birmingham is 34-foot. Mm -hmm. um, and it's 10-foot wide. Okay. The Birmingham. Uh, heck Mall. Heck Mall? Heck Mall? Heck Mall. Barn door made of half-inch plywood. Uh, with half inch trim, good idea? Question mark. Okay, oh. so probably in the Incredibox, so it's really a bit thinner and it won't do. We have found, I, I know you got to put the trim on it to keep it from mm -hmm. bowing, right? Because half inch plywood will bow on you. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it has a tendency of doing that. But the actual mechanism that the track runs on, mm -hmm. okay, sticks out. Okay. Almost two and a half inches. And then you mm -hmm. got the thickness of your door was about three quarters, so it gives it a three inch gap is what we have to have for a barn door but if you want to make i don't know for a barn know, door okay i really don't think you'll save about an inch okay if you used a plywood like that mm, okay yep. now do you want me to read the questions so you because you're mainly answering them but i would you know do you want some of your i'm gonna get some sun there you go you want to you want to your drink liquid okay. death barry fiegel how come you don't use barn style roofs Okay. And Isn't that a gamble? A gambrel, roof? gambrel roof. Gambrel. Yep. The we, the <clears throat> I I just don't like the way they look. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I think they look like a shed. I love our roof lines. I love how you did it. I like home. I want my homes to look like homes. Mm -hmm. now, I agree. <clears throat> the reason we do in a credit box is because it's so inexpensive mm -hmm. to do a flat roof like that. Yeah. But that's why. I mean, I'm nothing against it, and it has. Okay, where you have a V group, V shape, a gable roof, it's mm -hmm. metal, metal. When you have a gambrel, you go up as metal, and then you got to go up again as metal. Okay. And so you got to break it all up. You have to build the trusses. So it would be more work. I don't know. Yeah, in a way it would be. And on the inside, you'd have to V group that part, then V group mm -hmm. that part. Now, what he's probably saying is you get more volume, right? Mm -hmm. What okay. I like, and you could put a gambrel roof all the way across here. But I like breaking up the roof. This is oh, a I lot of work. Do. This yes. is a lot of work because mm -hmm. you got soffits all the way around plywood. I mean, siding and all that. Yeah. This looks like oh, a cottage. It looks so up on a Canadian mm -hmm. lake somewhere. Oh, it does. Yes, yes. It's just you gorgeous. Say, with you saying that, it just boom. It just put a picture of a lake, the trees, and everything. Yeah, yep. you see the little birds flying mm -hmm. and, and cranes. Got, a, got a, a bear with a fish in its mouth. Yeah, and you got an old oh. man canoeing out there. Well, no! Canoeing, he's. <laughs> How can he canoe and fish? He stopped. Oh, he stopped. Okay, all right. Katie, um, now Katie, I'm, I'm not sure if I said that right. I love your videos. Question for the next time with the overhangs. Yes. How wide are the models that are eight foot actually for roading? For so roading, the, going for down roading. the road. Going down the road. Good question. All right, so what we were thinking is, I was thinking, 
<clears throat> the 8 by 28 by 24. If I wanted to make them wider than eight foot six, okay, because I want a little bit of a six inch overhang instead of a three, and gives it that, so it's going to be nine feet now. So if, now, what is the width? So traveling down the road, what can you actually? Okay, the bottom's eight feet. Okay, the eight, bottom. Bottom, you can go to eight foot six, right? Eight six. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. like, it's almost I don't think a state trooper is going to say. I know that that is nine foot, not eight foot six. I see what you're saying. And he's going to have to get up on a ladder to pull it and measure it, you know, and all that mm -hmm. stuff. Now, I know there's gray air. I, I wing a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I don't. I know that. I, I, I mean, mm -hmm. if I was going to go and they said, you got to be exactly eight foot six. Oh, well, yeah. We put our gutters on all these eight foot homes. I know. They're eight foot. They're louder. The gutters make yeah. it go over Correct. a little bit over than eight foot six. Correct. The, the lights, if you if you put a light on the outside of an eight-foot house, yep, like that one. it's wider. It's almost nine feet there. Right. I hear you. Mm -hmm. So, and you got to go from the very outside to the very so outside. So, what are the, what is the length of the overhang? So, the, her overhang, and I know she's asking a great question, mm -hmm. is I want to put a little bit of a soffit than we have on the eight-foot mm -hmm. homes, and you put them faux dormer rafters underneath it. Yes. This looks awesome. So, and I haven't made that uh, distinction yet. And the only way not to do it is actually build the interior smaller, yes. right? <clears throat> and I don't want to steal six inches out of the house to make the outside look better. Well, now, this is just me. I'm just going to say this, okay? <clears throat> just, just in my head, this is what I think. Me, I'm not going to travel with one of the model homes. Exactly. That's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm not going to do that. They're but I will travel with an Incredibox. Yes. Because it's sleek. It's to the point. Well, it's, it's, it's travel, built travel. like an RV. It's built like an RV. Yeah. But these homes, I'm not going to travel with a home like right. this. Right. And you myself. shouldn't. And we haven't discussed the models yet mm -hmm. that much about the eight footers. But yeah, they're not made to be an RV. Yes. You know? Yeah, right. Okay. Well, that's a good question, though. I'm glad she brought I mean, you it up. You can. You can pull it all the time. But. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tanias, Tonis, just not right. <laughs> just not right. Is the handle? Can you possibly use pocket doors for the bathroom? In the credit box, I think they're saying. In a credit box, you could. Mm. So if we did, okay, a pocket door assembly is almost six hundred bucks. Oh, forget it! I'm so getting a curtain. That's why I'm not doing it yes. now. Our our toilet, get mm -hmm. this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Our toilet is actually offset mm -hmm. center of the Indian credit box. Yeah. That gives you more room along that wall. Mm -hmm. So you would have to put another interior wall and line oh, your pocket door goodness. on there. To which you could. In. You could. But then it's, you can, of course you can do anything on these So homes. you're saying $600 plus a labor. Oh, yeah. Mm, I'm not going That's to. That's why it's a DIY, but you could put a but pocket door. you could do door. it. Oh, you yeah. You could do it. Mm -hmm. um, James Patterson, on the cupola, being it will be the highest part of the home, could you have a window to open only to vent any hot right. air? That will be trapped up there. We will in the future. Um, oh, okay. This, this giveaway house was originally, I'm going to set this here, mm -hmm. was originally uh, going to be on skids. It was. That is right. And it's got a six by six runner under it. Mm -hmm. So it increased the height. So this cupola that we have is really not the exact measurements how we're going to have. Oh, but you're oh, exactly wow. right. We can put hoppers on there and open them up. So this okay. one won't have it. We were going to put hoppers in mm -hmm. and they... Uh, the, the height of that wall wouldn't allow us to put them in. So with not having the hopper windows, how much of a problem is that going to be with heat? That's not going to be a problem, is it? Oh, it's just like, it's a cathedral ceiling, just okay. like anything else. Okay. We're going to put a ceiling fan up in the middle of it and bring it down. Okay. Yeah. Doug Falls, why can't the water heater in the 12 by 20 Incredibox be on the left of the cabinets above the washing machine? Above... Yeah, yeah, because the washing machine is going to be, oh, yeah, well, stuck up high. it's a stackable, high. though. It's not a, it's a stackable. It's not a uh, combo. Yeah, but, yeah. If you had a combo, you could, right? But I think there's still room if you wanted to put a, wa a water heater up above it. Uh, even if it's a stackable? Oh, okay. No, no, no okay. Yep, good that's question. a good idea. Yep. Good question, mm -hmm. Doug. We might do that. We might right? do it. Okay. Uh, Rebecca Lop Lape. Since you can make an Incredibox, since you can make an Incredibox and stand on the roof, could you make a deck for them with panels? Did you get all the patent on the Incredibox name? Awesome to see the progressing, how it's progressing quickly. Yes. Wow. No, we didn't get a uh, patent name. Uh, it's, but yeah, we've we've asked the lawyer about it though. Okay. Yeah. But um, we haven't got it done. 
-hmm. And that was sweet of you. The very to, sweet thank. The thank you for the thank. Uh, but can you to walk on it? Can you get up there and have a deck? You know, I, I don't think it would be good to be on it constantly all the time. Mm -hmm. Could we put a metal roof on it and the whole thing? Yeah. So you'd have to build a wood deck on top I of think. it. Okay. Yeah. But you could build a, a wood deck on the top. I mean, again, I hate to say I know. we can build anything. You can, do anything. You can build know. anything you want on these houses. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. Ida R. Martin. So the lots are purchased or are they rented? The lots are rented. They're leased. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. they're leased. Which same as isn't that the same as rented? Right? Least, yeah. yeah. Lease and rented the same. Thing, ain't it? Yep. Okay. So, and you're probably saying, okay, well, where does my money go if I give you fifteen thousand dollars or twenty thousand dollars for a lot, right? Yeah, we've had we have probably around twenty people that did. Okay. So what's happened is, how I see it, that lot is yours as long as you pay the lease. Mm -hmm. I mean, you sign every year that you want to stay there. You want to stay there, you stay there. As long as there's no issues, no problems, there's been no kind of uh, any kind of problem. While you've been here. Yeah, you're not selling There's meth, no you know, and you're you're good. And My goodness. Yeah, we don't want you, you know, selling meth out of your windows. Well, yes, please, please but, don't sell meth out of your windows. But if you get, and, my, <laughs> and this is the thing, we don't, if I had, you know, the three or four million dollars it takes to develop land, mm -hmm. I got to recoup that back, right? That's right. So I would have to get a loan, and then my lot rent would have to be five, six hundred dollars a month. Right, exactly. To get it back. By you all helping out by giving that your lot, their lot money is putting in the infrastructure. It is, but I want to explain that too, and I want Randy to touch base on that too as well. Uh, the people here in the forest, let's just use them for example. The people in the forest gave six thousand dollars down, right? That was rent, pre rent money. Yes, it was pre rent. We used it for putting in the infrastructure and everything, but you got two years free rent. I paid them back. You, you got 100% paid back for that. Yeah. So you got the rent. So I just want to clarify that. Yeah, some people have said, yeah. hey, I've been here a year and a half. I want $6,000 for my lot. <laughs> no. It's no. Like, you've already lived here a year and a half for free. Yeah. That I've paid you back. I haven't mm -hmm. charged you rent for, right. for a year and a half. And there's people that they did get um, uh, an extra lot. And some of the people that did that, they subleased. And they put, uh, they, uh, put a tiny house, one of our tiny houses that go on there, they rented it to someone, and they're yeah. making money during that period of it's what we rent. want. It's what we yeah. want you to do, mm -hmm. and then, and then some people because mm -hmm. everybody was lucky they got in here at the two hundred dollars a month. Yes, yeah, that's because mm -hmm. you all invested in us. You took a chance mm -hmm. that we would come through with what we did. Absolutely. Now I have paid everybody back. This this will mature in January, December. At uh, December first. December first, mm -hmm. the forest uh, matures the two years. I have, I have yet. let, I have not charged rent for two years. That's right. Mm -hmm. Then they'll start paying their two hundred dollars a month. Mm -hmm. They do not, they do not get out of this for six thousand dollars. You no. don't trade your lot for six thousand dollars. Exactly. You're paid back. Right. Exactly. We did that because you all got, y'all wanted a, a a community. Yeah. I asked if you wanted it, mm -hmm. and they said, yeah. And, so and they, we, and we are so it. happy, the people that jumped on board. It's amazing. It, it is unbelievable. I've had, I don't know how many investors mm -hmm. come in and said, how did you come up with that? How they did you? I can't believe it. I said, because I didn't have any money. Yeah. So the guy was, hey, I'll work with you. If you want your house here, mm -hmm. I need $6,000 put infrastructure. That's right. If you want your house in the mountain, it's this much money. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. And so, but I'm about to come up with some different ways of doing things and not continue that same plan right it's been a little confusing for people that i don't know why yeah because i'm giving you free rent back mm -hmm. you know and it's, it's worked out really you know well over I think? here i think it's just because it never happens i think it never happens and people can't believe it i do everything that never happens that is true everything i do is 100%. like never never happened like yeah where can you get an incredible box like that a house for 20 mm -hmm. grand where can you get a house like this that. for the price we're selling it yep. for I know. Where can you get a uh, the model home mm -hmm. with all the maintenance free? Hey. Oh, look at him. How cute. <laughs> look how pretty. Oh, and Nina just come through here with her little dog, and it's a, a, like a little ace. Yeah. Oh, he's so cute. It's What's wired. his name? It's a Griffon. Charlie Shotgun Char Nelson. Char 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 I got Char Charlie. What's the last name? Shotgun Nelson. Shotgun Nelson. <laughs> I love Charlie it. Shotgun he Nelson. He's cute. He's so cute. He looks like Ace, so he's a Griffon just like Ace is, and Nina is walking him around, and he is adorable. He's probably yeah. just a few months old. He's so cute. Okay, anyways, we got people walking through. Okay, um, 
Kristen Dahl. We all know Kristen Dahl. Yeah. Kristen's ha uh, house. We got two of them. Uh, yeah, is out in the prairie. Yeah, the one it's the southwestern style. That beautiful uh, peach kind of color, very yep. salmon color, whatever you want to call it. And she's got a great question, and we don't have an answer for you. Um, what name have you decided upon for the new to be developed area for the 12 by 20s? We, I haven't got one yet. We've not decided one yet. Did Christian give us a suggestion? She did not. Christian, but, what but do you people think? People have. People have said the meadow. People have said uh, the backyard. They've said all kinds of things. But we'll come up with something. How about by the end of this month? I'll sure try. Okay. Well, we haven't even done it yet. Yeah, well, we haven't I don't even know if it's it. going to happen. What do you mean? We don't know if anybody wants to live there. Well, it's always going to happen. Stop it. You get that 12 by 20 ready, and then we'll say, I okay, am. everybody, here we go. Yeah, absolutely. It's not going to happen. What's he saying? Come on. What's he saying? Okay. Poodaloo. <laughs> Poodaloo? Poodaloo. Have you thought about having a place for people to share decorating ideas, pictures, etc.? I guess, what does that mean? A place. A place. Like socially or... Like a social media or something? I'm not sure. That would be a great idea. That's not a bad idea. I could share all of my stuff that well, I do. Well, what we're going to, the Incredible Boxes, the first 100 are going to decorate theirs. Yeah. And as they do, they're going to send in pictures. Mm -hmm. And so we'll put them on our website because you guys are yeah. going to vote to see mm -hmm. who you want. That's true. As a winner. Mm -hmm. So we will have that coming on our website. I think it's yeah. a great idea. Yep. Just adds to it, you know? Yep. Okay, Patricia Bonnell. Bonnell. When you draw for when you draw the measurements for the twelve by twenty in credit box, can yeah. you let us know the size of the lots they they will sit on too? Yes. You already know it, don't you? Yeah, I think they're thirty. I I don't know the exact because I was still playing around with them. They're between twenty five and thirty foot wide. Okay. I mean they're narrow, forty foot long. Okay. I know they're forty. Okay. Uh, Sarah Lod uh, Loden, are carports allowed in the? the tiny house community she said villages but community either or hmm that's we've people have asked know. about that you know I, we don't know yet i probably wouldn't care just if we just gotta, gotta but how's it if they, gotta, look? if they all look the same i don't well mm, i don't know i don't know i you know i have to be honest i don't like those i know they're cheaper them aluminum ones i don't like them aluminum did you see them tent, tent ones they got one a tent but let's pull over Blech. no i don't like that <laughs> It'd be nice to have it. I mean, I understand why you'd want a carport. I don't like that, but it's got to look really pretty. We want it to stay pretty like it is. I wish we had enough guys we could build wooden, beautiful, nice little carports. You know? I know. We'll, you uh, need one at your house. My God, I need a carport. Oh, God, it's a mess. I need a garage. Um, Sella Tenny. Uh, Sella Tenny. Beautiful. Question. Is it possible to order a home without being painted inside? Love the look of the natural wood as shown in Bill and Carmen's house. Our new models? Without being painted inside. Now, the incredible, yeah, I guess so. I, You know, that's a good question. Aren't we doing pre-painted uh, mm -hmm. wood, though? Yep. Mm. We're doing, our models are all pre-painted, everything inside done. Uh, I don't know. Well, I, we really don't want to vary from everything because... Yes. What, we're trying to get that as a production and pump them mm -hmm. out. I understand. We we have done we've always done natural wood, and painted it was very selective, you know. Yes, but right. everybody loves these white walls. They and do. I natural ceilings. Bill and, and Carmen's looked awesome. She did that uh, artistic stuff. She took it and scratched it off, but painted it white. Because you know, uh, most of the time it's a big no no to paint wood, yeah. you know. But hers looked beautiful, and she made it look like a wood setting. So yeah. Carmen did a great you job. You know, that's a good question because I love the wood. We've I been know. known to put wood interior. Mm -hmm. So it's something I could really consider. Yeah. But i got to know the logistics of how to get that material because we're shifting gears, you know. Yeah, exactly. Um, why don't you – now, this is something about the community. And it says, why don't you – and it was uh, Melissa. Why don't you let each community vote for a lead volunteer to organize the volunteers in that community each community or everyone together can make a list of things that you need volunteers for Beautiful. monthly potluck holiday get-togethers birthday celebrations mowing landscaping planting planting plants love that trees and gardens honestly they already do that to a point you know what i'm it's saying not probably as organized it's not a, as that it's not official i would love for that happen um I, and like i've said i've said to everybody um i'm willing to to help out financially right to help with the planning and the weed eaters and stuff they need yeah. and fencing and all that we stuff we just need to get that stuff for them and but they are already if you go on to their page 
um, they run it. It's a fans of incredible homes or fan, incredible fans of tiny I don't homes. Know what it is? Whatever. It, I think it's called incredible fans of tiny homes. Yeah. They are always doing dinners and going out together and uh, doing little projects together and stuff. They've already started. I'm so proud of the communities because uh, the forest. Uh, Will and Becky. They put that. Um, uh, put the sign up over there at their mm -hmm. house, right yep. by the forest. The beach did theirs. Mike Tice uh, and a lot of them got together. I think Cindy Brand helped with that and put the sign for the, the beach. And now Beth and a lot of them over there, Mishka and all of them, are getting together and doing. they're going to finish their sign by the end of the month is what a text And I you got Daniel and Tamara yes. that's helping volunteering yeah, on getting yes. the beach Daniel. Uh, all mm -hmm. that together and they don't even have a house here yet no exactly and no, they're they, volunteering they are here uh yep. did they sell their place i think so we've got their camper their here campers here and mm -hmm. they're gonna buy a house on the mountain and all that but with, uh, they their, haven't done it yet oh yeah. my gosh it's great so thank you to all those but great question exactly yes i want all that to happen and they are and you know more and more people they're including more and more people they invite people and stuff so they do you really need more people just to like okay let's go because i know the guys are wanting to put yeah. the dog lot in i i said i'll buy the wire posts and mm -hmm. let's get it going I I think they need just a little direction is what they they're just yeah. you know our guys oh, it's just so much work There's here so going much. on okay. building houses now uh just a, this is an amish question and randy will talk about this but the amish was here today yeah will the amish still be doing custom tiny houses off and on or once they complete building the existing orders will they only do the 12 by 20 incredible box i'm interested in a tiny home but would like a couple of modifications to the birmingham yeah. Really not doing. All right. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah. So the 12 by 20s will be built here. It's an ESP. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they won't do it. They'll be building all of our model homes. Yes. And our model homes are the, the eight different models plus the, the container. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, I know, listen, I know she wants some modifications. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we're going to be able to do any modifications. Right. Mm -hmm. You guys just, the amount of homes, when you're putting out two, 300 homes a year, mm -hmm. which we're hoping that they can do. Yeah. It throws a wrench. It does. In everything. I've seen it. Yeah. And I've we have done it. it for seven going on eight mm -hmm. years that we have done nothing but modifications. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't believe how it, it throws everything yeah, off. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. When you're mm -hmm. on such, you know, a timeline and getting it going and the cost that we share. Mm -hmm. We thought about doing what, doing the modifications and there's companies out here that build beautiful homes. Mm -hmm. But they're 30 and 40, 50,000 more than ours. Absolutely. So they're a little bit slower. Mm -hmm. You get to change some things up. So my, my frame of mind, my business technique is mm -hmm. to get you a home that is absolutely stunning. Right. And it, it, no, it's not going to be everything that you want. Mm -hmm. That you may want a, a window moved four inches this way or right. a window this way or a picture window somewhere here. <clears throat> so we just had to say, hey, I want to sell homes that are cost effective. That's right. And this is the way they and are. And I can't wait until <clears throat> some of the, the model homes are built. You're going to be amazed at what they have and that they are going to be exactly what you want. Even though they yeah. weren't a custom home. Yeah. Um, but we're about to do an Abington. The, the very first Abington, one of our customers... Uh, that was a custom build. She switched over to the Abington, yep. and uh, so it's going to be very similar to the actual. Yeah, we've model. had several people that had mm -hmm. a custom home and said, "Hey, I'd like to switch over to the model. Yeah, I'd mm -hmm. like to have a model home. Yep, absolutely. And if you are part of the on the active build, we mm -hmm. can put you onto a model home yeah. and probably get you a really good price for Cause it. Because the because the floor plans are set. You know, yes. so and you're going to find out that there's going to be more than what you thought, and you're really not going to be lacking anything, but maybe something minor that you can add on after you get your home. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wandering Hobbit. This is a great question. Can we still get a Hobbit house? This Aww. is a great question. I know, and I love the Hobbits. Yes. It's really what made our company when we first started mm -hmm. out. Yeah. I'll never say no. Yeah. Our mm -hmm. big building here in Tennessee. We will be doing prototypes. Yes. And we will be doing custom homes. Like, if you want a real custom home, we will build a real custom home. Yes. And we will do prototypes here. So, yeah, we could, it's, it's not going to die. And, you know, going along with Melissa's last question, I don't know if we finished with that, but the the Amish are not going to build panel homes. No panel homes. No panel homes. So, they will not be doing 12 by 20s. Yeah, the panel homes have got to be on a factory line setting. Correct, yeah. Yeah, similar And line. it's going to be here, and they... But they came today. Do you want to talk about that just really quick? Yeah, it was, I think it was 12. It looked them. like a lot of them. Yeah, it was like 12. Yeah. They came in a van. Felt so sorry because I think the air conditioning was going out in that oh, van no. on the way back. Oh, 
Yeah. But man, it was just so cool to see them. I know a lot of them. There's new faces too that I haven't there been was. able to meet. Mm -hmm. And some of the young boys came with them too. Yeah. And showed them around. They were amazed at all this going on here. They had never seen. They got to go in. Yeah. Uh, Will and Becky's house. Oh, did they? I went and knocked on Becky's house. Oh my god. They got gosh. to go in. That's great. I drove by. Martha was outside. I said, Martha, can I throw 14 men in your house? <laughs> She walked out. We walked in. <laughs> so they got to see a container. They got to see Becky's. So then they That's got to see funny. people living in a house yeah. that they build. It okay. was kind of cool. You yeah. know, they were amazed of how people live in them. You could tell they were drinking up the information you were putting out today. Yeah. You could tell. So that was great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tiny Town Girl, do you have to purchase a home first to secure a mountain lot? No. Yes. You do. You oh did? my God! What is that? What is that? What, who are you? All right. So yes. when I was talking to Sam, mm -hmm. why can't they sign a contract with money down of a lot and house, the combination of the mm -hmm. two, right? right? Money down, and you got it. Okay. Well, I mean, but but she's asking, can you do just the get the lot? No. We don't just sell a lot. No, exactly. Yeah, yeah, no. If you're going to get a home, then that's that's good. We're developing land to build homes. Yes, exactly. We want our homes over. And it's just incredible tiny homes. Yeah, we only build. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Nicole Ballman, how do you prepare for a possible mudslides after the heavy rain falls on the mountain? That's a good question. Yeah. So <clears throat> the mudslide would come from any disturbed soil. Mm -hmm. So what Yump does is he prepares that soil for that. We slope it back. There are some lots that were they were just roughly cut in yeah and the rain came and saturated the bank and it mm -hmm. caved in a little bit but actual mud mud slides uh we haven't had that problem and yump is super uh conscious of water flow mm -hmm. and that's really the main part of our development is when we cut our roads up these mountains see all that road is pitched all the water and the roads are pitched towards the bank they don't yeah. pitch towards the off steep side mm -hmm. so then the water has come down in its channel and you can't run water for a mile right yeah. so we'll cut off can, and we'll have a culvert mm -hmm. then that water goes to another and it everything is like a gutter system which makes it wonderful that's why listen if anybody is doing any excavating or needs an excavator you better have somebody who knows what they're doing Yump knows what he's doing. Yeah. Randy knows what he's doing. Randy knows what Yump is doing. Yump knows what Randy wants yeah. It makes a big difference. You know, I remember back in the day, there was, a, there was somebody, I'm not going to say who, and I'm not going to say, you know, nothing else about it. But they were like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be a contractor and gonna be, I'm going to develop land and all that stuff. They had never built a house. They didn't know anything about it. I know out of all of what time I've been around you for 20 years, I would never do that. I don't know what I'm talking about. I've never built a house. I don't know how to do all that kind of stuff. You have to have some type of experience to know what's going on you walk over there you know exactly how it this needs to go and how the <coughs> uh, the uh, all the dirt needs to be how it right. needs to be packed you can tell that by your eye of what you know what trees need to go what right. path it's more than just hey just you know dependent well, you're dependent on just that person taking care of it when you don't know yourself i spent Mm -hmm. I can't tell you how many hours and how many miles I walked that land. Yes, yes. I walked it like a grid. You did. So I knew where every holler and every mountain, every crevice, mm -hmm. everything was at. You better and know. I, and I knew where, kind of where to put. But I did that before at Brothers Cove. So it gave me some experience. But Brothers Cove, I was green. Right. But there was something, and yep. this is part of my podcast that I wanted to kind of mm -hmm. distill all those stories. Sure. that came. But I'd never developed land before. And when I walked this land and I gridded it out, it was 160 acres back there. Mm -hmm. And you know this part, but yeah. never in my life. I'd never done it before. And so when I walked that and I had the boy on my back, yeah, had Carson, Carson on my back, and I yeah. put juicy cups all over the place. When I was done walking, mm -hmm. I remember waking up one morning and I walked outside the house and I looked at that big mountain, right? And it was a big bowl and we owned from the bottom to the top 2800 yeah. lineal feet at the top or elevation and i remember looking up and a picture come to my mind and i knew exactly where i wanted every road every house clubhouse yeah. pool mountains home sites everything it 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 came to me in like boom and yeah. i seen it i seen the houses i seen the lights from the houses at night I seen the cars coming in, how I wanted you the just roads. Got it. You it got just it. happened. I, I never had it happen before in my life. You got it. And I was like, 
Rump said, where do we dig? And I said, follow me. Yeah. And at the end, wow. it was exactly like I, and I'd never cut a road in my life. Yeah. And it, it, I just seen the picture of it, man. Well, you know, I tell you, because, you know, it's very bittersweet to talk about Brothers Cove for Randy and I. But definitely, I mean, I don't know if it is for you. I'm sure it is, but it is definitely for me. Yeah. But there was a guy on the front of here, and I didn't mention it because it just, um, who was it that said that? Was it, J oh, James. Was it James? Oh, my gosh, I'm trying to find where it's at right now. But he said... Um, oh gosh. Anyway, he said, why don't you rent, oh, here it is, it's Sheldon. Hey, Sheldon, Sheldon Crane. It would be great if you guys would do a QA and a from Brothers Cove. Oh, oh that ooh. hit me. That hit me. Uh, not that you did anything wrong. You didn't. It's just a very bittersweet. Um, maybe rent one of the cabins, number 49, he said. So, I don't know. Does Sheldon own number 49? Maybe. I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't know and if I can. Off, it said, and show off Randy's incredible craftsmanship. The he place, must know about Brothers Cove. He must know about it. He could own Cabin 49. I don't know. But when I seen that, I was like, I, could, I couldn't, I can't go. I don't know if we could keep a dry eye. I, I couldn't go. i just thinking about it now. I can't go. Lord, Karen's going to have to get me another drink. <laughs> okay, let's move on. But anyway, it's a beautiful place. We Thanks, don't want to down. That's thank you. That was a compliment. Well, thank you, Sheldon. It really is a compliment. So if you want to go to brotherscove.com, yeah. um, it is owned and ran, run by another company now. Um, but all the homes in there, I yeah. built. And, oh. and, but it's really cool if you want to see it. I know. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to cry. Okay, so moving on. Uh, Chloe girl. I always love the name Chloe. Yeah. Um, will the roads be paved with proper drainage? Okay, on anything, the, you know, yeah, maybe in the years to come, we make some money. I wouldn't mind. I like paving roads. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't ever have Brothers to. Brothers Cove was paved. It was because it was so steep. That's true. Um, this is doing great. Oh, this beautiful. This is packed down. I kind of mm -hmm. like the look of the gravel, mm -hmm. you know. It, the gravel don't bother me. Yes, I don't know. I don't know if I'll pave it or now, not. Now, when she says proper drainage, you were just kind of talking about that with how. Yeah, uh, they're properly drain, drainage without being paved. Well, and two, you have to have, all of this has been inspected. You can't just throw something in and it's not inspected, right? Right. Um, happy Grandma. There appears to be a body of water onto the intro picture. Is that a lake nearby? Intro What's picture? What's an intro? Do we have an intro? Like, you mean like a... Is it the... Are you talking about the uh, Incredibox picture where Randy... You're asking them like they're going to tell you. They will tell me in the... Look at him. Why don't you play along? We're playing TV. Well, we got, so we got, we got the cut. ponds here. That's what I'm saying. I think it's... I mean, the pond's on our property. Yeah, I think that's what she's talking about. So we got a pond in the prairie that's not done yet. I'm going to make it twice as big as it is. Right. And then the one over here by the forest. I'm going to make one. Twice as big. He starts talking. Him and Yump, when they talk, it's like, who could talk deeper? We're talk. talking... We're talking bulldozing. No, no, I build bulldozing, dirt digging. All I that build stuff. roads. <laughs> I build roads. But anyway, so yeah, there's one over here at the forest near the uh, the office, and then there's the one beside the Incredibox. Maybe yeah. she's talking about that one in the prairie. Let us know. Let us know. Okay, but thank you, Happy Grandma. Happy Grandma, that's nice. Um, Andy Mess, the lots appear to be very, very narrow on the video. Is it eight foot wide homes only on the mountain? Oh gosh, no, they're not. There's gonna be big, I don't know how you can tell they're narrow. Wide. Uh, well, you know what, probably when we cut them in, they look like hey, it's just cut in, yes. and those are rough cut. They're not finished out they're and dressed out. Okay. No, they're they're made for ten better. Yeah. Okay. Yep. We're on our last page. Okay. Wow. Sherry Miller says simply gorgeous. Q and A Wednesday. What is the price for a lot on the mountain? And we just talked about that. Can you put any of your homes on the mountain? Yes. Yes. So it would be a lot price the uh, plus the house plus the house. Yes. Plus two hundred dollars a month, plus utilities, correct? The mountain is three hundred dollars a month. Oh, three hundred. That's right. Yep, because mm -hmm. the roads is mm -hmm. more extensive. Here we got seventy-eight homes in seven acres. Yeah. There we got eighty homes in thirty acres. Yeah, exactly. Okay, there yeah. you go. And she said, "Thanks, and I love your videos. Thank you so much for that." Yeah. Uh, Sarah Loden. Hi, Sarah. Uh, okay, Amanda. Tell the truth. How many sma snakes have you encountered? I have encountered zero snakes. Where is she talking? I, I'm sure at the mountain. Oh, the mountain I haven't seen any. Yeah, but you, I almost 
You almost, got them at your house. Yeah, I just I almost stepped on a snake the other night at the house. I was taking some stuff to the barn, and it was like dust time. So I went to step, and the dogs was out there, and it was probably a black snake. Uh, it, was, it was probably about that big, about three or four feet, something like that. But he was real skinny, and he's moving along. So I had to keep the dogs back from him so I wouldn't bother him, and he went, he went up the tree. So he was good, but I almost stepped on him. Well, see, down here in Tennessee, yeah. everybody loves black snakes. You love a black snake. Because he'll eat rats and I mice have, and everything. I never have mice. I never have rats. I never have nothing like that. So yep. I and you hardly ever see a snake, except I, for in your kitchen. Uh, except for in my house. <laughs> I will not kill a black snake. I won't do it. Yeah. So, But anyway, but I, you know, you do have to be careful. I know that everybody, whenever we did the video the other day, they said, Amanda, put your snake boots on. I get what you're saying. There was a lady said, I'm from Texas, and girl, you better get your snake boots on. I have never had snake boots. I've played in the woods. I've done it. I'm not saying I won't get bit, yeah. but I am careful. And, you know, the snakes don't want to be near you. And I do know that copperheads and things like that, snakes like to get, like, under wood. Yeah. I'm not going to go through a wood pile. No. You know what I'm saying? So no. I'm I'm very cautious. So, when, I, like your brother's cove. Yes. We were building, and we were piles of wood, and they lay there a month or two. Yes. It wouldn't be two weeks you had snakes under. They, now, uh, they had copperheads, too. All the time. Bro yes. We had four or five rattlesnakes mm -hmm. but you had to go digging for them you did and you have to be just very cautious I, like when i walk through my woods i know not, don't go to that brush pile don't get around that and when i do i always take a walking stick and you'll do this too always take a walking stick and just move around they do not want you to be around you they will scurry off you know and also i just want to do um say something else too is that when you i leave my boots or shoes and stuff outside always shake your boots out before you put your foot in there i got a snake in my you boot you have a snake in my boot that's <laughs> right like woody so i yeah. uh, always check that but you know and it's for new people because we have a lot of people that are from up north they're from out west there's some people that don't deal with that stuff and they come here and they're like oh, you mean you have snakes hey. Lord. all right so i've been here for yeah. 35 Where? years yeah and only I had some snakes up in the mountains. Yeah. Uh, I used to take the boys. We would climb up yes. the house, up the mountain because they were super steep mountains over yeah. there. Uh huh. We would just climb up the mountains, right? Mm -hmm. I say, boys, let's go up the steepest part, and we would climb yeah. like this. Never think about <laughs> nothing. We'd get to the top. We'd yeah. build a little fire. We'd hang out, and I said, no, Aww. we could walk the long way down. Or boys, we can go down the same way we come up. On your butt. And man, we'd sit down, kick our feet up, and slide all the I way down. I can't believe he did. That's so funny. We would slide, especially in the fall when the leaves are, yes. are slick and dry. We would woof, down there. I took I took mom and dad up there. <laughs> they were they were in their late seventies, or yes. and I'm not even eighty yet. Mm -hmm. And they got up to the top. We hiked up to the top. And dad, dad looked. He said, man, there's a view. And I said, I'm gonna put your house right here, dad. Yeah. So I built him a house. Aww. But he said. Well, how in the hell am I going to get down off this mountain? I said, Dad, you can walk the way we come, or we can go straight down. He sat on his butt, and I put Mom right here in front of me. Yes. And I said, Mom, hang on. And we went down that thing, and I'm holding on to Mom, and we're going, going. We're just flying and down that she's mountain. she's screaming? Oh, God, she's screaming. And I looked over at Dad. He was going right down beside me, <laughs> and he reached out and grabbed a, a, a sapling, and he hooked that thing, and he went all the way around that sapling. <laughs> <laughs> we got down off that mountain in five minutes. Oh my god! And we slid all the way to the bottom. Oh my god! And their tails were muddy. They had oh, leaves up their britches see. and everything. Now, I'm gonna tell you something about Randy's parents. God knows all they did was fight. Lord of mercy, all they did was fight. Yeah. But I'm gonna tell you what they would do. They would do anything he wanted to do. Oh yeah. They would do. They'd go anywhere. They would stay anywhere. Anything. They would help and do anything, anything that he wanted. They loved him so much, but. They, for them to be in their 70s, they were willing to. Your dad would mow. Dorothy would clean the cabins and stuff. She, They did everything. She run everybody off. Oh, she run everybody off. <laughs> but let me tell you something. You couldn't outwork her. Nope. That's where you get it from. And Callie, he wanted to do something. He'd, do, he'd mow the whole place. They jumped in and would help. It didn't matter. They, ne I never heard them say, yeah. oh, gosh, I'm 70. I, I just can't be never. doing that stuff. Never. Never. Never, not until the, until she even died. She was wondering why she was sick. Yeah. Why she was going so down. How come I can't? How come, how come I can't I, get up and walk? How come I can't walk? Yeah. I exactly. Understand. Yeah. So they they were always Team Randy. Always. Yeah. So that was a good part about it. Yeah, we just carry on, don't we? Well, I'm just saying. Okay. Anyway, I hope your phone's not getting hot. Is it hot? 
Did it turn off? Oh, I don't oh, know. Oh, surely not. It's still going. <laughs> 49 minutes. The sun is hitting right on Okay, it. well, we're getting ready to change. Listen, he changed his britches yesterday. I looked at his I behind. had a blowout. He had a blowout. <laughs> <laughs> I wore it all day. He did. His britches had a tear in it. I had blue day. underwear. She couldn't tell. <laughs> and, okay, let's go. think about your phone being like that. Uh, okay, we're moving on. Okay, so... Um, Okay, Jim Bohr, how long do you think it will take to fill the mountain with homes? Huh? 100 years? No. You know what? I am going <laughs> to, long. this is my plan. The Amish, Not I want long. more builders. So at the end of the year, mm -hmm. I'd like to have 20. Yeah. Then we're building our credit boxes, different sizes that can go over there, yeah. model homes. But the mountain is so big, it is it going is to be, big. it is. I think a three mm -hmm. to five years, we could be maxed out. And Great. I'd like to have, I don't know how many home sites over there. Great And projection. I've got a different, Love this it. this is going to come out. I have got a new plan for the mountain and for everything we do from mm -hmm. now on. And you guys will be excited about what we'll offer here in the next couple weeks. Yes. Okay. The I just want to get it all straightened out before I offer it to you guys. Um, I have another, I just want to tell this one really quick. Yeah. This is a, this is a little bit, uh, a law. It's just a one page of a, um. Oh, wow. What yeah, is that? But this is from Jacob. Uh, Jacob, that we just did the. Uh, oh yeah, and we did a house. tour of his house. Mm -hmm. He's gonna throw his dad up in the loft. Yeah, he's throw his dad up, uh, dad up in the loft. So Jacob, that's coming here. Okay. Hi, Randy and Amanda. Thank you so much for doing the shout out to my pops and doing a tour of my home. God bless you both, and Amber for coordinating the video. Very much gratitude for all. I feel like ACDC's Angus Young in a schoolboy uniform right now, is giddy, getting up across the floor as I was watching this video with my big old grin. On my face. Aww. Amanda made a great point. I never noticed about the grid on the door. I really like that. Uh, is is very homey. Can't wait to see it. What it looked like decorated for Christmas. Uh, he's glad that you're, uh, you're feeling better and exercise and everything. He says, my dad lives in Missouri. I'll be living in my RJO on the beach next to Cardi's Beach House. Nice. Great. Okay. I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, I absolutely dig all the knots on the inside of my home. There's a ton of them, which gives it so much character. The house looks so fresh and clean. The main reason I oh, I had only one window in the living area was I wanted options where to put my TV, seating decorations, right. and things Good. like that. Yep. Uh, I'll be putting my mini fridge, freezer atop above the water heater, and I'm so glad they provided a vent for my washer dryer because I found a combo with a vent. Um, Yes, I have to throw. <laughs> yes, I'll have to throw my dad upstairs if he comes to visit. Ha ha, that was great. I love the space in the bathroom too, Amanda. And yeah, no, like you both said, don't do it, Jacob. Ha ha. I'm not going to add a sink. No way, Jose. So he's not going to put a sink in his ba bathroom. Great job showing off the place, Amanda. And thank you both for talking about my new home, the last RJO. Incredible work, you all. Uh, seeing you both in RJO again was nostalgic. Too sweet. Looking forward to living in my RJO there. Peace and love in, in Christ Jesus, Jacob. I thought that was incredibly sweet of him. I thought that was incredible. That's cool. That was very Thank sweet you, of Jacob. Jacob. And I wanted to take the time to read that. Yeah. Because Jacob is just, he, he's very sweet. He's very, I've never met Jacob. We haven't. Nope. But uh, he's very supportive and he's going to be here soon. Yeah, you guys could know, you could imagine. Let me check. I just, that sun is beating down on your camera. Is it still going? Yeah. Okay, we're so good. We're about, oh yeah, we're going to Stick my face in you guys. <laughs> the, let me tell you guys something, and, and it's just an all reality, and, and this might be something I share in my podcast if, if we do want and go. Yeah. It's like, it's like the podcast is behind the scenes. Well, of course. You know, mm -hmm. but when you guys, you could imagine us building 800 homes. Oh my gosh. Not every customer's happy. No. Not every customer's completely satisfied. And we're probably over 800. We're probably at a Whatever thousand. Whatever they are. Yeah. You know, and you could imagine, it's like everything else. And building cars, building tires, doing everything you do. Mm -hmm. And it is a challenge. There's it is. personality differences. There are people that, that have things they're going through, mm -hmm. uh, expectations we weren't to met. And, and really, the whole, you know, my whole purpose, my whole reasoning behind the credit box yeah. and the models mm -hmm. is because I have become totally, it had, the, the pressures of building custom homes mm -hmm. have been so hard on me yeah. that I have, to, I had to change, I had to change yeah. or I was going to get out of the business. Right. Correct. Mm -hmm. And I know we're going to lose sales. Yeah. And I know we're going to lose people that want to have a custom home. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say you're going to have to go to someone else to build your house. Right. I have to have a beautiful home. Yes. And I want it perfect. Mm -hmm. I want it done right. And I want it done to my expectations. Yeah. 
and I want to know what I've got and how we're doing it. And through the experience of, we build the house for anybody. Mm -hmm. the, the customer's personalities or expectations are our, they are ours. They buy the house right. that we build mm -hmm. and it's done right and it's yep. done to our expectations, not theirs. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a model home. Right. So when you buy a Ford pickup truck, it is mm -hmm. their Ford. They built it. They designed mm -hmm. it. They have it. You buy theirs. Mm -hmm. And that's just what I want to do. And, I, and to, in saying that, I just cannot wait until we start getting the first few out yeah. because you're just going to be so surprised at what is in the home, what's offered with a model. It's it's not going to be a basic stripped down house. No, not at all. Not it's at got all. all the bells and whistles and yeah. we may even add another different lighting pack package yeah. in there and mm -hmm. stuff. The thing, you know, people have been sending me blueprints. They've been sending me drawings. Hey, yes. why don't you do this mm -hmm. model, do that model. And everybody's got their own and everybody loves to draw. They come up with their own models. And that's great. And that's awesome. You know, mm -hmm. I came up with these models because we have sold a ton of them before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I've tweaked them and added some things that I wanted. Will they change in the future? Definitely. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. I love yeah. building different types of homes. But when we do, when you set up this this line of homes mm -hmm. that the carpenter are used to building, right. when you change something, it is massively yeah. a big deal. And two, and we're going to see which homes, this is a great testing yeah. gear. Which homes sold? Which homes didn't really sell? What well, people? The Birmingham's was, selling like crazy. Like crazy. And it's a hundred thousand dollar house. I know exactly. And they're selling like everybody loves it. And I'm thinking, well, maybe it's the cupola. Yeah. So I'm thinking, hmm. Yeah. I like the cupola. I did too. And I'm thinking, well, maybe we'll add it to some other homes. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. We may yeah. do that. If we do that, we may include it. May not. But it's going to be up the price. So right. I got this dilemma. It's like, okay, I'm going to have to charge more. Yep. Even though we're way below the competition mm -hmm. everywhere. I know. Way and, below. You know, so anyway, that's what I love about being mm -hmm. in business myself, coming up with these ideas yep. and making it happen. We want to thank you because we're, like you said, yep. we're afraid that the phone's about phone's to shut off. We quit. want to thank you. This is wrapping up a episode nine, nine of weekly Wednesday Q&A. It's going great. Everybody seems to be loving it. We're trying to get to uh, as many questions as possible. So send in your comments, send in your questions. We'll we'll try to get them out on Wednesday. Yeah. And uh, just thank you so much for participating. We've been trying to put a lot of content out there. Well, I know that over the weekend I shared, uh, you know, our uh, adventures over there at the mountain and that everything. That was fun, yeah. And everybody seemed to really love it and stuff. So yeah. uh, see what, let us know. We've got some tech videos coming up mm -hmm. that we want to show you some more things yeah. about how to do stuff love showing you guys yeah. little little things that you could learn about yeah. your home what we do and it's amazing mm -hmm. that we've had like i don't know 17 1800 videos i know and we're still Crazy. putting out stuff and it's I know. every day it you is. know every and, day. and i still enjoy doing them yeah. and you guys might think how come how come randy doesn't get on facebook how come randy doesn't you know get on the i don't watch any of our videos right and i've said this before i'm not good with well, I'm not, I just don't want, I don't want to see good or bad comments. Right. I want to stay creative in my mind. Yes. And I want, mm -hmm. I want to have my own picture yes. of what I think everybody's like. Right. And what I think the communities are like. Now, yeah. that's not, doesn't mean I'm putting my head in the sand. Right. And like the lady who wanted volunteers. I love physically getting with everybody here mm -hmm. and seeing it. But when it comes to the comments and stuff, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. I, in, in real time, I ain't got time. Right. You I'm don't working have till seven, eight o'clock at night. Well, and two, I got to eat. You know, at night you need to like decompress, just I do. like everybody does. But you have to be thinking also. You have to be thinking all the time, and you can't have other thoughts. Not that, not that stuff like that. Yeah. Not that you know everything, but you have a plan. You don't just. And, you have a plan. And in my your plan mind. is not perfect. It's not right, mm -hmm. but it's my plan. It's your plan. That's you know, right. and I'm just doing it. So. Um, but we want to thank you everybody for watching and supporting yeah. the videos and stuff and just stay tuned because we've got way more we got more stuff coming yeah, to reveal cool. we got another time. location next wednesday mm -hmm. we got some home tours are going to be doing this if i can get home i've got to get this video uploaded if i can get home i'm going to work on it tonight and finish up that house at my house and we're going to you're not going to believe the eight by 16 the yes. credit box she's got yeah Oh wow! Yeah, so I've got. It we, is so cool. We got looking. a surprise for you. We yep. want to show you that. On, and the twelve by twenty, but the next week. Yeah, hopefully Friday in the twelve by twenty. Hopefully. So be ready if you yeah. guys are looking at this twelve by twenty and you want to live here yes. on our ne next place. Yep. For fifty nine nine. Yep. Get your purses ready because I'm going to launch yep. it and see if, if anybody's in interested. I hope they are. Yep, exactly. And knock but it down. But we want to show you. We want it set up. We want to show you exactly how it's going to look, and you're not going to be disappointed. Yeah. So.
Thank you all for watching. And yeah. thank you, thank uh, Dave and Karen Cardinal for letting us come to their house today. I'm going to try and snap some pictures in there of their home yeah. and the outside, and we'll put those on Facebook to show you that. Good. They've done a great job. It's beautiful in there. Thank you, Mandy. Well, th hey, thank you, sir. look at the elbow. Look at the elbow. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Ow! <laughs> That's so violent. Oh, my God. Hey. All right. See you guys. Okay, bye. bye. Who's going to turn us off? Well, you have to edit this part, Please. you know, because you don't see me walking up Just here and hitting it. <laughs> yeah. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Where are we at here?